Um, we have a couple images on the screen and I can come up and I can drag them and drop them into a drop target area and come and drag this one. You'll see that this is based, using some basic settings and you'll notice that we've got the X here to show that this is not a drop target. As soon as we come into the drop target, we get the hand knowing that we can drop it down there. So let me go ahead and show you how it's done. So here we are on the page and th there's a few things I already have set up for us a little bit here. You notice we have the main stack panel and this basically wraps everything, gives it a height of 600, basically just setting up the page to, to host the, the areas for the drag and drop. Then we have the first stack panel. This is the one that's the Alice Blue uh, panel that you saw. This will initially hold each one of the images. And I'm just setting up the stack panel with some defaults. And then I've declaratively loaded in two images. And um, this just is the path back to my image folder and uh, width and margin, nothing too special going on there. Finally, down at the bottom, you'll see that we have a drop target. Again, just a basic stack panel, giving it some dimension, some color, um, pretty, pretty easy stuff. So let's begin by going up to the top of the page and adding in our namespace. And the namespace that we're using here is infragistics.silverlight, and it's in the assembly, infragistics.silverlight.dragandrop, and we're using uh, the 9.2 version right now. So once we have the namespace in, all we have to do is set up some drag sources and a drop target. And so we'll set up a drag source within each one of these images. So from here right now, we can go DDM and drag and drop manager, and we'll call this one a drag source. Within the drag source, we can further define it. And then we can say is draggable. We'll set this equal to true. And we'll stop right there. And basically, I'm just going to copy. Well, actually, you know what? We need to add one more thing. Um, we need to handle the event of when the item is dropped. So we have to decide what we're going to do. So here, we'll say for the drop event, instead of creating the default handler here, I'm just going to call this drag source underscore drop. And then that way, when we reuse this, it's not tied to a specific one because we want to copy and paste this down in here as well for a different image. So basically, we're just setting up a drag source for each one of the images, and, and they will use the same event. Okay, We'll use some relative coding to decide how to deal with uh, the ones that we're working with here. Finally, down in the, the bottom stack panel, what we want to do is set up uh, a drop target. And all we need to do in here is say that the drop target is drop target, and we'll say this is true. So then the final thing that we need to do is implement the, the procedural code in order to handle our event. So we'll do private void drag source drop object sender, and then we're going to use the drop event args. And this is in a different namespace, so let's fill this out. What we need is to bring in infragistics.silverlights. And now we have drop event args. But it's spelled wrong, so let's do drop event args. And that should, uh, should work that out for us. OK, so the first thing that we need to do is take a look at the drop stack panel. So we'll just call this drop. And we'll say e drop target as stack panel. So the way everything works here, we can't just take the source image and attach it to the drop stack panel. What we have to do is basically make a copy of that image because then that way it's not a child control of two different items. So we'll create an image here. And take the original drag source as an image. And now we can start working with it a little bit. So uh, what we want to do is make a writable bitmap. And we need to bring in another using statement. So let's bring in system.windows.media and system.windows.media.imaging. And now we should be able to do a writable bitmap. And we just create a new instance of this. 
passing in our image, the instance of our image. And um, we don't need to pass in any values for the height right now. So then we'll take another image and we'll call this the dropped image. And the properties we want to deal with here are the source, which is our writable bitmap. Margin, we're just giving some space between them. Give it a thickness of like eight. And stretch, none. I want it to look the same as what it did before. So now once we've got that, what we can simply do is take a look at our drag source and find the children and remove the source image. And then we can say the drop, find the children and add our new dropped image. And from there, my friends, we should have what we're looking for. So once again, we have our two stack panels. We have our two images and we can drag each one of the images and drop them in the drop target. And the key here is that basically it's completely up to you of what you want to do once it's been dropped. So this gives you all the hooks uh, basically to build whatever you need. Infragistics. On the web at infragistics.com.